Yes, uh, greetings family. I'm here with my good brother Quasi Boyd. I got the itis. And we just itis? literally finished eating at the Jerk Palace Caribbean Cuisine mm -hmm. here in Riverdale, Georgia. You know, you ever heard the itis before? Yes, itis. That's when you eat, you eat some good food, right? And then you just get tired or you go to sleep, either or. But that's the itis. It's a perfect man. So you feel right, man. A nice, uh, good uh, meal in Georgia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Man, so it's beautiful to be home in Georgia. You know, these big roads. These, All that good I'm stuff. I'm scared of these roads now. I'm like, yo, these big, scary four-lane highways. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Cruising. <laughs> That's too much like the rat race for me. I've been living seven minutes away from the beach, man. Just living a... Uh, a fairy tale life in the midst of all of this like i said uh for for the reward you know i would definitely you know go through it you know what i mean no pain no gain but we don't have to have as much business. pain as we experience yes so pray got a lot on your mind now you know you're not in you're not in um west africa no more you're here on the east coast I'm on the United East Snakes Coast of America. Where everybody works nine to five. You know, I, you know, one of the one of the most craziest things that I've seen, right, since I've been back, is how people waste the food wastage is crazy. Yeah, it you is. know, they, you know, I be, mean, you know, people be cooking and they throw away a lot of food. It'll stay in their leftovers and things like that because in Africa you cook day by everything's finished because everybody eat together. Absolutely. Everybody eat together and they scrape their money up and they make it happen and buy a big bag of rice, a big sack of potatoes and you know, uh, uh, you know, they make their dishes, but when they make one dish, the dish is clear. It, it's, it's really no leftovers. But here, people, you know, they make too much and then throw it away. That's the American life. Excess. Just a serious business family. Mm -hmm. Waste, waste, waste. But yes, my brother have a lot on his mind. He's been sharing a lot of details and a lot of information. Everybody and breaking silence and all kind of stuff. Go hard, Gambia. Check my channel out. So I, you know, you said something earlier. You're not a YouTuber, you know. And um, some people making or they're trying to make they're trying to be um, YouTube content creators. And they have some extraordinary content creators out there, like Walter Maya. He's an extraordinary content creator, and he's somebody that's a giver. You understand? He's giving up his time, his energy, and his self. And it's not like he's doing that to, uh, you know, take advantage of anybody or, you know, for it to benefit him. He really wants to help. Yeah, serious business. And there's many other, uh, uh, Teo, I always miss his name up. I'm working on it, but I met him in uh, Ghana. And, you know, it's a sister. It's a few people out there. They're doing their thing to create it. But we have to look at this. Okay, we're promoting Africa, right? And we're creating these, this, this, this narrative. We're creating, you know, uh, demand in Africa. But is there a regulatory system? You, you, there's no way that anything can operate in an orderly system without systems and controls, you know, protocols and procedures. You understand what I'm saying with movement, and uh, you know, but there will be competition and things like that. But uh, you know, in the movement, there's no place for it because we, we want to come away from that. We need to, you know, change the way we do things, you know, and how we look. But we shouldn't be chasing the American dream in Africa. It won't work. There you go, family, and that's my brother right there, man. He knows what he's talking about, man. He lived there in the U.S. and now he lives there in the Gambia. And Successfully, he is back all right? I'm not, you know, I, I, with like, success. I, yeah, not getting a YouTube channel and doing things like that. I've, I've, you know, donated time and energy and money to train over a hundred Gambians on high-level uh, business systems. You know, check my channel out, Go Hard Gambia. You're gonna see. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, on my channel when you go up there. I have I don't have a lot a lot of content, but it's enough up there, 
you know, because I'm working most of the time and putting things together and I have a large family, but I'm going to work harder. So go to my channel, you know, like, subscribe, and I'll make sure I give you guys more content. I'm trying to get up to that 25,000. I need 25,000 uh, subscribers so, you know, they can uh, actually have a real pers uh, perspective. Bomani will be at 150, but we're going to get it together. Absolutely, family. That's what we're doing, family. Mm -hmm. uh, now, cruising around and um, literally just uh, looking at the future in Africa, looking at how we're going to just organize together and just get things going. Mm -hmm. And literally just letting people know that, you know, the haters, the drama, the crazy folks, the confusion is there. Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? We have to evolve and stand strong. Right. Because, you know, none of this is going to come easy. And it's just what it is. It's, uh, you know, you're in um, a situation where, you know, the divide and conquer and all these other mind control and things like that is yeah. just in our people, you know what I mean? It, to where they, I, they, they, you know, just literally just quick to self-destruct or quick to just fight against themselves, you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's uh, unfortunate, but that's what we're dealing with and we're going to stay beautiful. strong. We, you know what? You know, we have to talk about it, but I, got, I always share with people, I mean, I have a fairy tale life over there and, um, you know, the drama that was brought there was because of our trauma from here in the States. <clears throat> and it was the perfect storm. It wasn't one person. It damn sure wasn't me or our Kathy. You know, uh, it was more so people over there working and, you know, for, you know, they have their fieldums over there and they're, they're trying to get market share. And, you know, it's, it's very tacky and it's, it's very, you know, uh, you know, demeaning of our ancestry and our heritage and the time, but it's gonna be there, but you know, it's over for that. You know, it's a, a positive time. Get with brothers like Bomani, you know, get with brothers that have some, you know, uh, you know, true intentions and good intentions for the, uh, the the movement, you know, and have a track record. You know, a lot of uh, people jump right on to the, uh, the bandwagon. I see some hot wings over here. I'm about to give me some hot wings. Uh, yeah, a lot of people jumped on the bandwagon of success and tried to, you know, uh, you know, making videos and stuff, and it discouraged a lot of people and played on our collective fear. We Absolutely. Yeah, I used to be, I used to have fear, you know, when I saw people that were in higher positions. I always, my my first mentality, oh, he's scam, he gotta be scamming somebody because I didn't, you know, I was insecure about myself. I didn't feel like, hey, I'd be like that. You understand? I, I, I trust. I come from that. I come from. You know, uh, uh, you know, just being around people with very poor education, very poor outlooks on life. You know, what I mean, very, you know, uh, very pe petty and jealous. All of us deal with that in our family. All of our families broken up because of petty jealousy and, you know, things that we should have ironed out and hashed out together as family. But you need man to do that. And, 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 and American society doesn't recognize, recognize black masculinity. Yeah, so all these things are unfortunate, brother, and that's why... That's why we're gonna get these. Yeah, you gotta, gotta you gotta together. stay strong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as a you know as a man because you know you got to you gotta you gotta basically just build a foundation for other brothers to see this manhood and see that you know what I'm saying a man has to be strong mm -hmm. versus what they're seeing which is a whole lot of simping and just men who ain't even who are not even ready or even want to you know to build nations or build families you know what i'm saying you have men who don't even like men there's like crazy stuff going on you know Yo, I'm saying? I, listen you know we, we talk about nation came, building in well, africa i i don't even want to talk about it i think most people but you know a lot of people that i opened up and embraced and helped come over they just you know showed the worst part of themselves under pressure you know a lot of people folded to the negative under pressure and it was because everybody wanted to have a part of that shine and they felt that okay we created the shine there you know obviously you know because everybody was on our uh, on our behind you know what i mean so we created the the, the the shine so a lot of people thought they can come over there and get that instantly they wanted that instant fame and you know so they they wanted to get up under uh juliet because she was the main person so that you know uh i, I don't want to go into that because we have a series but you know a lot of people, <laughs> it's all mixed in a, for a, real a lot of people tr come clout chasing and you know uh and they, they wanted to get on youtube and get instant fame and you know they tried to take over the community 
and take over all the investors and everything. But you see how that turned out. It turned out to be a disaster. And then, you know, all of that got covered up. All the truth was covered up. All the lies was put in horrible and disgusting lies that you shouldn't, you know, we, we shouldn't even repeat. That's how disgusting, you know, this, you know, it, it's at a level of a, a high crime against a nation. This is a nation movement. You understand what I mean? To, to, to have all of this stuff uh, uh, in, in the movement, all of these lies, all of this deceit, all of these hours of calling people to slander uh, good, good people, you know, do your business, man. You know, nobody's, you know, is the overseer of somebody else or, you know, you, you want to control and dominate the whole thing. It's going to, you know, it's already leading down a disastrous path. But in any way, if we go there and we build communities and, and, uh, and have a sustainable model, you know, like the projects that you have, people that have like mine doing it, that's the best way to do it. Get together in communities, or, you know, of brothers and sisters that have like mine, and then make sure that, you know, you build the community out for a uh, for long haul. That's it, that's it brother. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we talk about, family. Uh, nation building energy. And, uh, you know, got lots of wonderful beautiful energy there in countries like the Gambia and just you know just gotta open your minds get that passport get that visa and then let us Especially take you with to, everything to the, going on the with the different economy. countries yeah and uh you know build from the ground up get you some land and yes. then we're gonna build from the ground up man and that's the beautiful thing about Africa getting land and building from the ground up mm. so family the the journey continues and we're gonna just share some more with you as Amir connecting with uh, our good brother Kwesi Boyd here fresh Atlanta. from the Gambia and back in the United Snakes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, brother, man. So, so family, stay tuned. Got more for you. Peace. Absolutely, brother.